Peggy 18. Hi, my name is Alex Hutchinson, creative director on Assassin's Creed 3, and I'm here to present you uh, some brand new footage of our naval gameplay. So when we started development of Assassin's Creed 3, we realized that the revolution was not just fought on land, but also on sea. So this is our brand new assassin, Connor, he is the master and commander of this vessel in total command of its navigation and gunnery. We built a completely dynamic weather system, allowing us to transform calm seas into raging storms at any point. And it's great because this not just changes the way the game looks, but also how it plays. You can lose sight of your enemies behind large waves, and you also need to take into account wave height and position when taking a shot at your enemies. several different types of cannon shot at your disposal. There's the basic round shot, which aims to just sink enemy boats. There's chain shot, which aims to bring down the enemy boat's masts so you can board them. And then there's grape shot, a particularly nasty form of cannon shot where your crew would scrape all the rubbish off your deck and basically fire it at the enemy crew. Our goal with the naval experience was to provide a significant variety from not just the main game, but also within the missions themselves. So some missions will see you guiding your way between enemy minefields, others will see you attacking forts, and still others boarding enemy vessels in order to assassinate a particular Templar on board. Overall, our goal was to deliver truly epic, immersive, engaging naval battle experiences. For the first time, giving you control of a character on board, tall ship in this period, uh, engaging in historical battles such as the Battle of Chesapeake. So thanks for watching, we hope you enjoyed it, and we hope you stay tuned for ever more information on Assassin's Creed 3.